to Mon! Hi everybody, it's Mr. Steve, back with another workout video, or should I say, Harry Potter! Um, I hope you're a Harry Potter fan like I am, and if you're not, don't even worry about it because we're here to have some fun. Um, what you'll need for today's workout, you will need a magic wand. Um, if you don't have a magic wand, you could use uh, a twig or a branch or anything else, or you could use your finger because the magic is going to come from within. Um, there's also one of our exercises that would make sense to have a mat for your back because we are going to be going down on our backs. Um, you could also use a towel or some shirts just to make sure you have some support so you don't hurt yourself. Uh, speaking about hurting yourself, we want to make sure that safety is number one. So please, go and ask your parents for permission. It's really important. And if you already have permission, let's get started. Whew. Uh, all right, first up we have Levin Corpus legs. Uh, I'll need my wand for this one. Levin corpus legs. So we're gonna imagine that when we say the spell, our leg is going to magically lift, levitate. Uh, we'll do it um, 10 on each side. So grab your wand and say it with me. Levin corpus legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Uh, after that, we have Descendo. So Descendo is a spell that we cast. We want to make things go down. So we are going to jump up and then come down into a squat position. Are you ready? We're going to do that about 15 times. One, two, three, Descendo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more to go. One, two, three, four, and five. Amazing. Help, help me. Just kidding. <laughs> Next up we have Petrificus Totalis. Uh, that is when you use your spell and the person gets frozen in spot. So we're going to adapt that and make our own little workout. We're going to be frozen on one leg. I'll show you this way. So when I say the spell, or you say the spell, we'll say it together. You're going to balance on one leg, bring your other leg behind you, take your wand, point it forward, and use your other arm for balance. Not going to lie, this is a tough one, but you can do it. And if, if you can't, just try and have some fun, but make sure there's nothing around you that can cause you to fall or hurt yourself, okay? We got this. Petrificus Totalis! Again, try and look at something that isn't moving. Use your other arm for balance. It's not easy. Just a few more seconds. Oh, and then we'll do the other side. One more time. Petrificus Totalis! And you can switch arms. So if you're holding the wand with your right arm, you can now hold it with your left and vice versa, okay? Using this arm for balance if you need to. I know I need to, because I'm not perfect, that's for sure. Oh, that was great. Woo! Expecto Patronum! Uh, that was the Patronus spell. Uh, one of my favorites in the movie, when Harry casts it, his Patronus comes out, it's a stag, and um, mine would be a cat obviously. Uh, for this spell, you can cast it and then put your wand aside. You won't need it for now. I'm going to go down onto the ground as though I am my Patronus. So my Patronus is a cat. Cats walk around on all fours. Make sure you have space for this. If not, you can just go back and forth in the space provided. I'm going to walk around on all fours. I'm going to do a bit of a square um, just because I want to move around while doing it. Starting position is something like this. And then you'll move forward and then sideways and then backwards. So we'll do that for a little bit, maybe about 30 seconds. This is a great one to work your core, your arms, your legs. And don't forget, you are the animal. You chose, I'm a cat, so I'm gonna take a second just to clean my ears, do a bit of grooming while I'm at it, maybe do the other side. Ah, oh, I love being silly. 
I hope you do too. And I'll go back one last time, sideways, and I'll come to the middle, and then we're done. Awesome work, everyone. Accio Broom! Accio Broom! All right, third time's a charm. Accio Broom! Yeah! Next up, we have Protego. Protego is a protective uh, uh, spell, and we're gonna protect ourselves. Uh, this involves two things. We're going to jump and squat. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is we're going to take our arms and cross them in an X like we're protecting our faces from a spell being cast at us. Each time, using our wand to cast a spell and then cross. We'll only say it once, though. Are you ready? Protego, okay? One, two, three, Protego! We're gonna do this 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You got this. Awesome job, everybody. Lumos 360. That's the name of our next fantastic exercise. Lumos 360. Lumos is a spell you cast when you want to cast light in a dark place. We're going to do it in a circle. That's why I called it 360. Kind of like the other exercise, we're going to go into a squat with your arm pointed out with the wand, and then we're going to jump and do the same thing in the other direction. And we're going to do that in a circle. We'll do it 10 times. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Lumos. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job! Accio ankles! Uh, Accio is a spell in Harry Potter that's cast when you want something to come to you. Uh, not going to lie, I have definitely tried that in real life. Doesn't work. However, it's going to work today. To the mat, as I said, you would need a mat at some point. This is the time to get it. Uh, if you don't have a mat, you can totally use blankets or some shirts, anything just to pad your back because you don't want to hurt yourself. You will need your wand, and the spell is going to be Accio Ankles. So to the ground we go. Backs flat, knees up, feet firmly placed on the mat. And you'll be taking your wand, and you'll be using your ab muscles to bring yourself forward very gently. You don't want to hurt your neck or anything. Don't strain it and you will tap your ankles with your wand. Again, if you don't have a wand, you're gonna use your fingers. You don't have to go all the way. You can even bring your feet closer towards you to make it easier. You could make it more challenging if you wanna bring your legs further out. That's up to you. Just make sure you listen to your body and if something hurts or doesn't feel right, don't do it. 10 times on one side, 10 times on the other. Let's go. Accio ankles. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, Accio ankles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We did it. Wands no longer needed going forward. I'm gonna place mine to the side out of the way. We're gonna do some stretching. Back to the mat. You're gonna take your fingers, you're gonna thread them through like this. You're gonna bring one of your knees towards you and you're gonna gently bring it towards your chest. Uh, I can't actually make them touch, but some people can. Just hold it there, you can rock it from side to side a little bit. Just do what feels right. And we'll switch to the other side. Just like that. I promise not to do a British accent because mine is not good. And, and we'll bring it down. Staying on the mat, take your hands, bring them up behind your head. We're gonna rotate our feet and just wriggle our wrists a little bit behind us. We've been through a lot today. And then, very carefully, we're going to work our way up 
And we're gonna try and touch our ankles. If you can't do that, please don't worry. Don't force it, you don't wanna hurt yourself. You can even touch your toes if you can, grab them. Oh, it feels nice, you're gonna feel the stretch in your legs, your arms, your back, all around. Oh, that feels good. Now we're going to take our knees and place them on the mat. Hands firmly in front of you. Your gaze is going to be below, looking at the mat. You wanna make what looks like a table if you can. I have a hard time, sometimes I don't know if my back is flat. Just try your best to do a flat back. It's okay if it's not. And then we're gonna do cat cow, cat cow. So at one point, we're going to make our back, we're gonna look forward and our backs are going to make a bit of a U and then your back will make a bit of an N. So we'll breathe in, looking forward, and then breathe out. Bring your gaze down and arch your back like a little N, lowercase N. Or to say in French, and minuscule. A, puis an U, and then a U. One more time. Breathe in, and breathe out. Take your knees, bring them as far to the mat as sides as you can. If you don't have a mat, as I said, you're using a towel. Just want to spread your knees out a little bit, and then bring your feet together. We're gonna do what's called child pose. And then you're gonna lean back onto your feet, bring your arms, extend them as far in front of you as you can. I like to keep my fingers firmly planted on the mat. Some people like to have their hands on the mat. It's up to you, whatever feels good. Take a couple of deep breaths in. Breathe out. Deep breath in. And then breathe out. Awesome! Well, that was an amazing workout. If you've enjoyed having uh, this time with me today, please give this video a big thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, and feel free to go ahead and watch my other videos and share it with everybody else. Uh, have a great day. See you next time. Au revoir mes amis, goodbye.